free at last free at last thank god almighty i'm free at last Well, good morning, everybody. This is Cruise Man. Just getting ready to take a little ride. Got to go to the post office. I was hitting my gear shift button <laughs> to try to start the bike. I haven't ridden the bike in a few days. The old memory, just not what it used to be. But anyway, I am going to be uh, taking a little ride here to the post office. I thought you might want to join me. I've got a few things I want to talk to you about and update you on. I've even got some notes down here just to kind of refresh the old deteriorating memory. Now, I know my TPMS light is on. Before anybody mentions it, I realize that, but I'm only a couple of pounds below where I need to be and as I ride the tires will warm up and hopefully that light will go out it is about 55 degrees this morning here in Carrollton Texas and it's really a pretty nice day it's supposed to get up to 75 today we did have a little bit of cool weather the last few days but it's starting to warm up now we're supposed to have some thunderstorms coming this uh, weekend, so today's probably a good day to get out and ride. Now some of you that are very observant that follow my channel uh, may notice something different about my Goldwing today, but you'd have to be pretty observant to notice it. That's right. I've got this brand new Garmin Zumo XT installed on my Goldwing. And actually, this is the very first ride that I've done with this new XT. So, we're going to see how it works. This will not be an actual test ride for the Zumo, but I'll tell you what, right now I'm pretty impressed with the screen. Now I'm not in, I wouldn't say I'm in super bright sunlight, I need to be about high noon to really see how it looks, but from now, for, for this time of day, it looks pretty darn bright. It's pretty nice. I have a Garmin XT installation video for those of you that are in, interested in the Garmin XT, which is their newest top-of-the-line model this is the five and a half inch screen and I did an installation video and it's out there on my YouTube channel I also have just posted my first impression video on the XT so you want to check that out as well and I will be doing a thorough review video of the XT the one I have out there, I just put out there today, is just a first impressions video, kind of comparing it to the built-in Honda Goldwing GPS, as well as the Garmin 595LM, which I previously had. Uh, putting more information along, you know, over the next few motovlogs about this Garmin XT as I learn more about it. But as you can see, it works very well with the glove. I mean, you just touch it anywhere. It's just very uh, responsive. And it's just got a lot of cool features, which we'll talk about. One other thing that I've been meaning to mention the last couple of videos, and I just forgot to mention it because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos over the last, well, since we've been shut down. And we've been shut down 30 days now. This is day 30 of the shutdown. But I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, and a lot of the videos are younger people. When I say younger, I mean younger than me. So I'm talking about, you know, in their late 20s, early 30s. I watch uh, iJustine and her sister's channel because they do a lot of tech reviews, and I just kind of like watching them. 
Um, and of course, the Itchy Boots channel, the girl who's riding her adventure bike all, all up through South America, which she now has had to put on hold because of the COVID-19. But I've been watching a lot of these young people and their channels and have been very impressed with this generate this new generation of how seriously they've taken this COVID-19 and this shutdown and the social distancing. I didn't know when this all started how serious the younger generation would take it. But it's actually been uh, kind of restored my faith, I guess, in the, in this generation that they they really take it seriously and they're not complaining. They're just kind of doing what they need to do. And I think that's uh, they should be recognized for that. I think that's pretty impressive. On some other news, oh man, I am finally, finally free of Hulu. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. Last Thursday, Ricky called Dish to get it reinstalled at our house and I'm telling you it is such a joy to have Dish back. I love the interface. We were using the Hulu Live uh, product for the last six months and it just never, it just, it's just not ready for prime time in my opinion. We tried YouTube Live or whatever it's called, YouTube, I don't know what they call it, one where you get all the channels. And it was even worse than Hulu. But the Hulu interface just, you know, whoever's designing their interface just doesn't quite know what they're doing. But Dish has got the interface down. And I could give you 20 reasons why we prefer the Dish over Hulu or YouTube for that matter or YouTube TV that's what it's called so we are back with dish we got a new two-year contract and you know what's interesting uh, we signed up with a new two-year contract and it's actually cheaper than Hulu what we were paying for Hulu and we get more channels we got a DVR that lets us record I think either 10 or, I don't know, it's a ton. We can, I think up to 10 programs at a time or 15, something like that. 200 hours of HD programming, recordable. So, and it's got, in their interface now, has Netflix, uh, it has Amazon Prime, and it has YouTube all built into their interface, so you don't even have to get out of the Dish interface to get to those uh, streaming services very it's very cool I just love it I just really love and oh my gosh the remote control is so simple in fact if for no other reason I would have switched back to dish just for the remote control because first of all it's backlit and it controls all the other devices and we never could get the remote control system to work properly uh, between Hulu and my new Samsung TV. It was just a pain in the butt. I should also mention that Garmin is not sponsoring any of these videos that I'm doing on this XT. Just all kinds of cool stuff uh, about to happen. I'm really anxious to get the economy started back up again. Maybe get the restaurants open where we can go eat at restaurants. And, I told Don Smith the other day, we, we text back and forth, I told him I kind of miss, we get together every, at least every other weekend, have coffee together up here at Einstein's Bagels, and uh, I'm ready to get that cranked up again. So, how about you, are you ready to get back, get your restaurants back, and be able to go back to work and do the things you normally do, if you're still working, you may be retired. I think there's going to be some uh, some changes for a while, but uh, I really feel for my riding brothers and sisters up in Michigan because, man, they are locked down. 
And I'm afraid that if I lived in Michigan, I'd be right beside him protesting because you can't even get in your car by yourself and go to your second home or your vacation home. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But it'll all get worked out. These things usually do. This will pass. And I uh, watched Memphis Mike uh, yesterday on one of his new videos, and he even made a mention that we'll look back on this a year or two or five from now and say, gosh, do you remember when we were all locked down, the economy shut down? It'll be like something we lived through. So anyway, I'm about... Uh, to reach the post office I'm going to drop off a couple of uh, letters and a package and I want to thank you again for supporting my channel don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and the little bell if uh, you want YouTube to notify you when we come out with new videos I will be uh, coming out with another XT review video before too long I want to spend some time with it and, and really get a chance to run it through its paces before I put out a review video so I know what I'm talking about I don't want to rush it and I just want to thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.